Hi gents, how are you all doing folks? Hope you're all well. So here is my first review. Um, since having all this new equipment. Um, and it's going to be a book review. Um, which uh, I've affectionately called um, Bootmark on uh, Motti's military models. Um, this is this has been purchased from eModels. Um, you can find eModels on uh, eModels uh, www.emodels.co.uk. Um, they are very good for all your modelling needs. Basically, everything that you want, you can get. So, um, sorry for shaking the camera. Um, let's uh, make a start. <clears throat> and let's see which uh, book we are reviewing today. So, this is the book we are reviewing. I thought it would be very good, considering um, uh, there is a hell of a lot of group builds going in, um, out again at this minute in time. Um so especially um on warts and all um facebook page they are doing um a massive year long um group build um so of course um go and check them out on facebook um if you want to know more about it I, I would like to tell you but i don't particularly know all that much about it but i will do soon so this is a um Book all about uh, German army uniforms, as it says, um, from 1933 to 1945. Um, it's by Euro Uniforms. Now, I believe, I'm not 100% sure, but I believe in Spain, I think they release um, a magazine, I think, every quarter or something like that, and they do all different types of genre of... Um, magazines but it's mainly of obviously military and stuff like that so um i purchased this from e-models so i've bought it myself it's um not been donated or anything like that so you'll get an open honest review um and uh let's uh, start then so uh, as i say it's german army uniforms i purchased purchased it here in the UK for me models uh, and it costs £24.99 pence. It's a little more than I tend to like to spend for a book but as I've always said and stated in my uh, other reviews of books um, once you've got them you've got them um, and prov providing you look after them you've got them for life so you know they're, they're well worth it so if you consider £24, £25 uh, for that for the rest of your life really i mean you know you spend more on it on cups of tea and coffee you know for the rest of your life right so it's a uh, hardback i better not knock too hard because the camera will start what's to the only thing i don't like is here on the neck it's sort of if you like to stick it into your bookshelf like so it's like upside down there um, and I know a lot of AK um, with their um, army uh, tank camouflages and stuff like that they tend to do stuff like that and it just makes it look a bit odd and uh, um, on your shelf but I suppose it sticks out so again you've got Euro uniforms there let's just zoom in slightly let's see if we can sorry guys let's try this if I can find it so yeah, there you go. So it says Euro uniforms there. And as you go along, that's what it says like that. And then you go on to 1933 to 1945. And then on the back, we've simply got, where are we again? We've simply got just a few pictures of the uh, different uniforms that are perhaps on offer here and it says action press there so there you go right so let's turn in so we've got a nice picture of a t3485 there 
um, with a couple of what looks like German infantry um, ready to hit it with a Panzer Shrek there or it's just been hit perhaps I don't know anyway so this is basically a book with uh, actual pictures of uh, proper uniforms of you know of, with what we've got so let's zoom in slightly and see what we've got so contents we've got chapter one emblems insignia and badges German national emblems and then you've got all those there then chapter two you've got clothing chapter three field equipment and then you've got your notes and bibliography okay so let's come back out again I'll tell you what you think I bloody learned which way it goes wouldn't you by now right so there we go so let's see if we can turn the light on I don't know if it'll be it'll probably blast us off of what we can do and what we can is that any better for us it's a little bit better isn't it I suppose it's not the greatest but still so um yeah so I'll just basically because of copyright and stuff like that we can't always do a full-on review so I've got to be careful of what we do so I'm just gonna flash through some bits and what we can and what we you know we can show them I suppose and that so yeah um as you can see it's just pictures of um guys wearing the actual uniform um I don't think any of them are um of the actual times back in 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 the war of course and there's a better picture of that with that light there um so you can see um this is the um now i'm shy uh, rubbish sorry at german so this is a obergriff freite of the 276th infantry division germany 45 um and then of course there's a proper picture there of um, the war and everything you know of him up on a, what looks like a parade yard um, and then of course it goes through all the German national emblems and um, what it should have on the peaked caps um, let's just zoom in slightly shall we a bit so we've got the German national emblems then we go up to the peaked caps um, and then you know there's all these different bits oh, is that any better Let's see if I can move this around a bit more for us. That might be a bit better, he says. So, yeah, so, you know, you can see all these. It has got, like, a, a large, um, you know, genre of what we can see and what we can do. Here we've got all the um, emblems again at the bottom. Um, we have a couple of uh, infantry pictures of various German personnel. Um it does tell you who they are but again i don't want to go through with the copyright so we'll just flick through quickly of various things uh, here you've got um, all the different emblems of different uh, uh, offices and ncos and uh, privates and all that type of things um, then we have um, obviously more pictures of certain generals and whatever else um, Again, we come through to more patches, emblems again, more wall pictures. Um, there's Von Stolzman, I think, is it? Yeah, that's Von Stolzman. I know that one. <laughs> um, so, yeah, um, and then we come through to, again, all the different braids um, and grades and everything that they have onto their uniforms and then let's get into more of the ranks and insignias as you can see here again the proper clear pictures proper photographs and um, the, the paper is really good you know proper how can i describe it it's a bit like um paper that you take you go and get your photocopies done but on proper decent quality stuff you know so it's quite uh, it's almost like card it's that good the paper is um, again, all these are in uh, German, so you know you you. That's one downside, I suppose. I mean, if you're not particularly great at, at you speaking of German and stuff, you will have to sort of, you know, perhaps look it all up and everything. Um, and that's so uh, that's a bit of a downside, but still, then you come up to the buckles and belt buckles, which is pretty good. Um, another good thing which you can pick up on for modelling is 
here you've got um you can I mean let's zoom in again. If you go and look at that there, look. I know it's I mean I predominantly do one thirty fifth, but if you do like one sixth scale or one eighteenth scale, you know, look at that. I mean you can see how weathered it is and scratched and all that type of thing. So you can all pick up on the weathering, so that's quite a good side, a good thing on them. Um <coughs> So yeah, this is what I was trying to explain. Like, so you have basically um, pictures of proper, I suppose, museum type uniform that that's um, back then, you know. So, um, so it's it must be, you know. So either they've, they've cut. I mean, this looks pretty well worn, so that must have been captured, you know, um, left from the war that they've picked up. Um, again, more officers and generals and and you know whatever so right this is what I was on about so here as you can see we now have a picture of what um, it tends to look like and what the books full of is um, pictures of more up-to-date modern guys that are model modeling I suppose is the word yeah and um, the type of uniforms and that so <clears throat> let's have a look let's go further in so here's a couple more so again you know if you're doing your if you're doing your modelling and you want to do some um, um, pictures, uh, some painting and that, you have got all these that you can resort back to and have a look at. Um, again, you have got weapons, helmets, and stuff like that that you can have a look at. So again, you can see the weathering that's been done on these type of um, bits and bobs. Um, you've got the field packs um, and all that type of thing there. Um, so that's pretty good and then you carry on like I say you go through different regiments different bits of uniforms different jackets um, smocks um, the collars um, epaulettes you know so it has got I mean it really is I suppose this is a Penza Grenadier from the Gross Dutchland division so you know I mean obviously they're not probably going to be um, done up, you know, specifically bang on as they should be. But, you know, it gives you a good outline of what it is. And I'm sure there are plenty of rivet counters out there now that are all, all swearing at the screen and chucking stuff at it, saying that's not correct and all that type of thing, you know. Um, this looks like a um, Normandy tank crew. Um so you've got like the different coloured binoculars, binoculars, um, and different all that type of stuff there. Um, more tank crew. Um, there's a infantry from Norway, 1940. So again, you've got pictures of the um, the weapons, the rifles, and that that you've got. So, but you've got, you know, the very, very clear, so you can see exactly what they're like and how they're painted and weathered. And um, here you've got more pictures of real life pictures. Um, then you've got a an officer from the 544 Grenadier Regiment, Stalingrad, 1942 to 43. Here you've got your MG40 um, with the straps as well. So you've got them and then, of course, he's got his winter um, clobber on. Um, there, then you've got pictures of your marching boots with the studs underneath ready for the parade. Um, in the back here, you've got a picture here at the back of a 251. That's actually not a bad little picture, so you can see what it's like inside. Obviously, it must be a reconditioned one. Um, so then we come into th chapter three, it must be with field equipment. Um, so again, here you've got pictures of um, done up of more modern guys with the the clobber on and um, out in the field. Um, here is a, a proper picture of back in the day. The use of garments for different arms of service was common. The photograph shows a general and an officer wearing Luftwaffe camouflage tunics. Um, I mean, if you if you can have a look at that, you can zoom in. You can actually see the um, you know the different camouflage patterns that they've got there. So you know, 
it is all good. It, it, to be fair, I'm really impressed with the book. I know the price is twenty four ninety nine. You might get it a bit cheaper elsewhere in Britain, but you know, e models do tend to be one of the cheapest. Um, here another. You've got a Gerber's Jaeger Regiment from Hungary, nineteen forty four. Um, you've got some stick grenades, and then you've got some normal proper hand grenades there. Um, here you've got a medic. So again, as you can see, you've got the 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 um, NG thirty fours. So again, you've got a full range of weapons that you can see where they're chipped and 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 worn. You know, you can see what colour the bot the ammunition is. Um, a good one for me at the minute with my um, project is where the straps are connected on the what rifles on the weapons. You know. Um, you can also see the colour of the handles of the um, the spades that they carried, the trench um, spades. Um, so yeah, I mean, all in all, um, I think it's a, a great little boot to have. Like I say, twenty four ninety nine is a bit more than I tend to like to spend on a book. But again, if you shop around, you may get it a bit cheaper. Um, but um, by far. You know, it's a great book to have in your arsenal for in your research material. Um, here's a picture of your MP40s, gas masks, you know, gas mask containers. Um, so yeah, so there you go. You know, so so um, that's about it. So you go through the the, the bibliography at the bot at the end. Um, so it tells you know all words that they've used in uh, certain officers and soldiers and that that have perhaps been mentioned. There's a notes section with introduction and notes on each chapter you've got there at the back. Um, let's have a look if it says anywhere about. It was put into press in 2002. I actually thought it was a it was a new release, um, but it's not. It's actually um, a first edition was printed in 2002. Um, the editor was Rodrigo Rod Rodrigo Hernandez Cabos, um, and then they've got it all looks like it's um, the Spanish chaps perhaps. Um, it's printed by Ibography or Ibography, whichever you I don't know, two thousand and two. So um, it doesn't. I don't think it's got a number. If you wanted to purchase, oh. The ISBN number, that's what you look for on books, isn't it? Um, the ISBN number is 84 forward slash 954 64 forward slash 21 forward slash 7. 84 forward slash 954 64 forward slash 21 forward slash, slash 7. Alright, so there you go, guys. Um, that's the first... Um, bookmark of the book review and um, bookmark of the the new year i do have plenty of other books as you know i love my um uh, my research and buying books i can't help myself i just love them um so if this actually works and i can get this uploaded to my channel i will do plenty more reviews i'll do kit reviews and all sorts for you and hopefully if i can get round to it and i feel up to it later I shall do another update of um, Panther 401 a body build with Haladin as I'm, uh, like I'll show you the tank as I'm now on the mud and that for it. So, Anyway guys, um, hope you're all well, hope you'll stay safe and may the force be with you. Bye.